Four years after a mother mysteriously dies, her husband stands accused of murder. After two weeks of testimony, it took a jury just three hours to set him free. Former Deputy Tom Fallis found not guilty of killing his wife. Denver 7's Mark Stewart has the dramatic end to this high-profile trial. We, the jury, find the defendant Thomas Fallis not guilty of murder in the second degree. Tom Fallis stood still, his attorneys crying, embracing him as the verdict was read. The former deputy was cleared in the death of his wife Ashley in 2012. At first, it was ruled a suicide, but new evidence prompted prosecutors to reopen the case. When I heard him saying, oh my God, what have I done? Oh my God, what have I done? He proceeded to say, I shot my wife. Prosecutors say a confession was ignored amid allegations police did a sloppy job investigating the case. I didn't shoot my wife! The jury saw interviews. <laughs> And heard a 911 call. Was that an unnatural position for another person to be holding the gun in that manner? It, it is for me. At times, the jury saw lawyers from both sides with toy guns to their heads trying to reenact the night of her death. Would she say things to you um, that she couldn't go on or couldn't do this anymore? She did say that a few times. They also heard about Ashley Fallis's struggles, including a history of suicide in her family and Tom Fallis's temper. In the end, the jury clearing him in her death. During the trial, we heard from Ashley's mom and dad, but not today. When the verdict was read, they just looked to the ground. Teresa, they didn't want to talk when they left the courthouse today. Well, Mark, this may not be over yet. Ashley Fallis's family still has the option of filing a civil lawsuit against Tom Fallis.